Hey there fellow marketers, Professor Walters here, and today we're going to talk about setting your advertising objectives within your ad campaign. Because it's really important when you're making an ad campaign to have some kind of objective. What is it you want these ads to do? Do you want them to inspire sales? Do you want them to change the opinion that people have about your products? Do you want people just to know that a movie's coming out on a certain day? What is it? What is your objective? Okay, and we need to lay these things out because if you don't have an objective, you're kind of wasting your time with your ads. And what's important is when you're making your advertising objective, make sure it's lining up with your business objective. So if McDonald's wants to have a business objective of selling more Big Macs, well, then we need to have our advertising campaign, our objectives for our advertising campaign be towards selling more Big Macs as well. Also, it's important because if we're just trying to gain more awareness with our advertising, we know not to focus necessarily on sales. We might look at other things like, hey, how are we trending? How is our name popping up? What's our Q rating? Things like that. We might track it there instead of like a sales number because we're not going for sales stuff. Because what helps is if we link our business objectives and our advertising objectives together, it's a more chance they're going to be a success. Also, it helps us determine our sales promotion and how we're going to announce them, when we're going to release them, all kinds of stuff, because we don't want to be advertising our new special Bud Light Super Duper Platinum and advertise for that when the business objectives has us putting on the market shelves in three months. No, we need to have Marty in the shelves and then announce it. Whereas when it's a movie, of course, you got to announce it before the movie comes out because you have to get the excitement going that people are going to go to the first day. So, you know, you can have the campaign saying the number one movie in America. And that's why it's really important that you lay out your advertising objectives in your ad campaign planning, because then people see this is what we're trying to do. Because by putting this in the ad campaign, it really lays out our strategies that we have in order to communicate with certain groups or certain target audiences. Remember, we've already thought about, you know, our target audience who we're going to go for. So you might look at is, look, if we're going to be targeting the over 65s, maybe we're going to do the newspaper. And if we're going to be targeting the under 20s, we're going to be looking at TikTok and things like that. Because it really is looking at what is the best advertising media mix for the different groups we're going for. And once we have that, we can just really lay out those objectives and then we have something to judge our results against. Because if you don't have an objective out there, we wanna increase sales by 10%. We wanna increase our, our times we get tagged and pictured by a thousand percent or whatever. If you don't have that objective out there, when you go at the end of your ad campaign and trying to decide if your ad campaign was a success, you have nothing to judge it against. So that's why it's important you really lay out these objectives in your ad campaign and in your ad plan, because we really wanna be able to judge if we had a successful ad campaign. So just a quick little thing talking about setting your advertising objectives. We've got a lot more stuff that talks about advertising specifically. So check out those videos to help you out where marketers and advertisers sometimes butt heads, and we got all kinds of stuff to help you out. Bye.